What's good everyone, it's King Varius here and today I'll finally be fixing my Beyblade PSP translation mod. So after I released the mod, I had a lot, and I mean a lot of people saying that the mod didn't work for them. And believe me, I did see your comment. I tried to help everyone fix the mod, but I really couldn't figure out a solution and eventually I just lost all motivation trying to release and finish and fix the mod. But recently I've had a lot of free time and I wanted to just go back and try to fix everyone, read through the comments and I've seen people posting their solutions so I went and got in contact with a few subscribers who couldn't work with the mod and asked them to help me find a solution. I was able to get the mod working on Android, iOS and PC so today I'll be showing you how to do that on all three devices. And believe me when I say it pained me just as much as it pained you guys to see the mod not work. This is a project I started when I was really young just on my little Android tablet but then I never got the motivation to finish it plus I didn't really know what I was doing because I just learned about texture hacks. Then during quarantine I decided to revisit the idea and then I gained so much progress but then I released it and seeing that it didn't work it truly broke my heart but I'm glad to say that it's working now. Let's get started. The first tutorial I'm going to be showing is for Android since most people had an issue with Android. Also a little disclaimer, this footage is not from my device, I asked a subscriber to record it for me on Android to prove that it works for Android. So shout out to him for all the help he provided. But basically he's showing you all right now the settings you want to change, you want to make sure replace new textures is enabled. Make sure you're using the same version, he's using 1.8.0, on the other two devices I use 1.9.3. It doesn't work for the newer PPSSPP models for some reason, but for these it does, so make sure you do that. Afterwards, you want to extract the file. It's going to look a little different here, but you just want to extract it. In this version of the download, you don't have to erase copy because I already do it for you. But once you extract it, in the new version, it's going to be separated into textures and save data. This version has to save data since a lot of people asked for it, and also that was part of the reason it didn't work for a lot of people. But you can just paste it into your PSP folder. You don't have to go into the textures folder because I already made the folders for you, and it would just automatically merge the folders for most of our viewers. He doesn't show it in his tutorial, but you also want to take the save data, not only the texture. If you don't take the save data, it might not work for you, or it might halfway work for you. And for everyone who was saying it's fake or it doesn't work, here is proof of the mod working on Android. I couldn't get my own proof because I don't own an Android device anymore, but thanks to my subscriber, he let me show you guys that it's not fake. So now we move on to the PC tutorial. Here I'm on PPSSPP version 1.9.3 because for some reason with the new versions it just wouldn't work. But I made a clean slate. Every video you've seen relating to this game has been recorded on this device, but I just removed everything just to show you guys that it works for PC. Basically, it's the same thing as with Android. You want to make sure replace new textures is on. The file you see me extracting is the file that's going to be in the description. So for the Android users, if you are having trouble following the tutorial, just follow this one. It's the same thing, essentially. But you'll extract it. You'll have save data and texture folders. You just want to move it to the memory stick PSP folder and just paste it right there. Here we're back in PPSSPP. I just wanted to show you guys that the mod installed perfectly fine. Now for my iOS users, you're going to need an app to extract it. The one I use is called Documents by Riedel. It's very useful. It's also the app I use to get the ISO onto my phone as well as the emulator. If you want a tutorial for how to get the emulator on your phone, I'll just link a tutorial for it. But make sure you're getting version 1.9.3 because the newest version does not work. So for the iOS version, it's basically the same as the PC and Android version. You just want to take the file, extract it, and then you want to move the save data and textures into the PSP folder. But after you do that, for this version of PPSSPP, there's a setting you have to change or else it's just going to crash on launch. You want to go to System, go to Developer Tools, go to CPU Core and change it to Interpreter. If you don't do that, it's going to crash upon launch every single time you try to start again. Also you want to enable Replace Textures just like the other tutorials and boom. Also I know when I first started this channel, I promised I'd release the save data at like 200 subscribers I think. But honestly, I completely forgot about that, but here it is now. It has 
all the bays I think unlocked it as Anubius, Chimera, um, Kibra, all the bays but a subscriber did say that there are passwords for more bays I'm not sure if that's entirely true but if you know anything about it please leave a comment also if anybody knows how to work multiplayer on PPSSPP please leave a comment because I would love to get that up and running there's so many things we can do on multiplayer in this game I could probably play against some of you and there's also another feature in multiplayer where you can save the combination of the opponent you face and then battle them in offline mode which would be pretty cool because I could battle you guys even if I'm not actually online with you guys I could still face your combinations and whatnot. But that was just proof that the special move works. Um, that's all three tutorials. If you're having any issues, please leave a comment and I will do my best to fix it. Hopefully this changes the percentage of the poll like completely different. I'll probably make another one in a month or so. But like, subscribe, share it, and thanks for watching. And also thanks for everyone for the help and the suggestions.